Hi, I'm Dale. I'm horrible on camera, but I'm halfway decent in the shop. Um, today, I want to compare gases between C25 and CO2. We're going to use a titanium welder that you get at Harbor Freight. This is a DIY one. The welding supply shops are going to push you towards C25 gas. We're going to see if you really need it or not. I'm going to put down some welds and we're going to compare and contrast afterwards. I'll throw down the welds and we'll talk about it afterwards. This is a titanium welder. We did the C25 versus CO2 to see if it really matters if you're using a less expensive welder, if your gas really matters. I thought the C25 might actually work better on the titanium, but it kind of sort of might not have worked as well as the CO2. Between the C25 and the CO2, I can't tell any difference in the weld profile. Um, there is a little more spatter on the C25 and I'm sure it'll just brush off. They're pretty much the same. The titanium welder, I had quite a bit of trouble getting it set up right, but once I got it set up right, it ran just fine. Getting a welder set up right is 90% of the project. Once you get a welder set up right and you're comfortable with it, you can be in pretty good shape no matter the cost of the welder. I'm going to wire brush the welds that we did with a titanium welder and just so we can compare the C25 and the CO2 with it. That's the C25, and there is still some weld splatter. And there's the CO2, and it is cleaner. I mean, all this is just gonna knock off. It's not an issue, but now you can see the two side by side. Again, this is the third part in the series. I don't see enough difference to justify the cost. The CO2 is 12 cents a cubic foot. The C25 is 34 cents a cubic foot. Yeah, I can't justify the cost. I'm here to make money, not spend it on fancy gases. If you know of a reason I'm wrong, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Um, like, share, subscribe, you know, do that YouTube thing. Thank you.